In an effort to get people involved in governance, the Aberdeen Chamber of Commerce is holding the third annual campaign school. Our Alan Scott isn't thinking about running for anything, but he did stop by to find out more about this unique one-day school. If I'm elected, I promise two chickens in every... Well, that's the old days. They used to get up on a tree stump. All right, these aren't stumps. Best I could do on short notice. Anyway, we find out all about that in the Aberdeen Chamber of Commerce Campaign School. Stump speech, that's where the name came from, standing on a tree stump to be seen and heard in the old days. That is most certainly not part of the campaign school, but I was interested in what has changed over the 15-year background of these schools. This is the instructor, Carl Eckert. When we started, there was no, no internet, no video ads, none of that. Those are great. <clears throat> but if you're going to win locally, you're going to knock on doors. That hasn't changed since there were doors to knock on. And uh, if you run for local office and don't knock on doors, uh, I guarantee you're going to lose. This is the third run of the campaign school. It's put together by the Aberdeen Chamber of Commerce. It's not really a business promotion per se, so Chamber CEO Gail Oates explains why. Why we do it is just to encourage people to run for office, right? Um, we know it's a difficult thing to do, but uh, we need people to run locally for our city council, for our commissions, for school board, and then for state offices as well. So we want to just get people the education, the information they need to make the right decision. The instructor, Carl, talks about the number of people attending who actually decide to run for office. Definitely more choose not to, um, <clears throat> and that, that can also be good because we help to train volunteers. People will come in and say, I'm going to run, and they learn it's, it's hard uh, and it's uh, more work than they wanted to put in, more time away than they wanted, and so they'll become great volunteers. So take a look at these folks. Any one might be your next city council person, school board member, or even state representative. In Aberdeen, Alan Scott, Dakota News Now.